climate change and the need to decarbonise dominate public debate in the UK. There is a success story we can tell. The UK has more installed offshore wind capacity than any other country, with ambitious goals for further growth. For this to be an economic success, the UK needs to be the innovator and supplier for the global industry too. We need to translate innovative ideas into exportable goods and services. That is the mission of the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. One game-changing UK innovator we are backing is London microbusiness Ladebug. Founder Chris Cheshlack originally came to the Catapult with a concept for a novel robotic system, a blade crawler, capable of inspecting blade surfaces at offshore wind farms. This was the beginning of a collaborative project to build and test a prototype, funded by Innovate UK. With Bladebug, Chris is answering one of offshore wind's major challenges, managing the condition of wind farm blades that are subjected to enormous pressures and constant battering from sea and winds. Bladebug is an inspection, maintenance and repair robot that's been designed specifically for wind turbine blades. So wind turbine blades need a lot of maintenance and care and currently the only real way of doing that is with rope access technicians. So we've developed our robot to carry out these tasks. During phase one, a six-legged robot was built and adhered to wind turbine blades during simulations at ORE Catapult's National Renewable Energy Centre in Blythe. It's really exciting at the moment. We've seen the robot come from a single vacuum cup and a couple of legs to a fully working six-legged robot walking on a wind turbine blade. And what's been really exciting is that we've gone from just myself to now a company of six people working full-time on this robot. And seeing how it's progressed during that time has just been really satisfying. During a second £1 million project, with funding from Innovate UK, the robot is now road testing abilities such as ultrasonic non-destructive testing of blade surfaces, surface mapping using an electronic skin, localised mapping and tools for repairing blade surfaces. There are certain key tasks that robotics can undertake very effectively and these can be neatly summarised in what we can call the five Ds of robotics. So that means tasks that are dull or dangerous, dexterous, dirty or dear expensive and what's fantastic is that the blade bug solution ticks almost all of these boxes and that's why we're very happy to be working with blade bug to support their solution and their technology development and i think what's really fantastic is this project is a good example of collaboration and where an sme is working together with a catapult business and has the necessary input from big industry players to try and make sure that we develop a solution that is totally fit for purpose and meets the needs of industry. Undertaking these kinds of R&D projects, supporting these kinds of businesses is a fantastic way to try and uh, meet the, the climate change challenges we see and at the same time create high value and high skilled UK jobs and export that knowledge and experience around the world. In 2019, Bladebug joined another project with ORE Catapult, Mimri. The blade crawler will work in collaboration with an autonomous vessel and inspection drones in order to carry out inspect and repair missions to offshore wind farms. Using an inspection module developed by Plant Integrity, a specially created repair arm developed by the Royal College of Art, and an electronic skin for the robot's feet that uses advanced nanobiotechnology from high-tech startup Wuzano. In 2020, the Bladebug team also joined ORE Catapult's National Launch Academy, a programme designed to help high-potential SMEs establish and grow their presence in the industry. For us, having the ORE Catapult believe in what we're doing and supporting us has been essential. We've been able to get support from Innovate UK, which has allowed this progression from just a single person with an idea to currently a team of six people working full-time on this development of this robot. This, is, this wouldn't have been possible without the RE Catapult support.